I love you, Toasty. You're gonna go to your new home. You're gonna make new friends. You are. You're gonna have so many new friends. Hey? You're a good boy. You are so cute. Mr. Tiffin. I'll even miss you, Mr. Drama Queen. You are the most dramatic, strange rat I've ever met. You are, you are so strange. You used to be such a tiny boy, now you've got really big. So today is the day that my last ever two rats, Tiffin and Toast, go to their new home. And if you're watching this and you've not been keeping up with my videos recently, please pause this one and go and watch this video that I made called 10 Reasons Why I'm Stopping Owning Rats. And then go and watch this one, which is How to Stop Owning Rats Ethically. Just kind of understand why these boys are going to a new home. But just to sum it up, rats are social animals. It's not fair for them to be alone, single rats, at any point during their life. And just because I want to stop owning rats, or I have to stop owning rats, doesn't mean those social needs shouldn't be met. So just to make sure they're not gonna end up alone if either one of them passes away, the most ethical way to stop owning rats and avoid this is to rehome them to someone else that has rats. This is something that I've always suggested on my channel and as my rat keeping journey comes to an end, I'm gonna be doing the same thing. They are gonna be going to a really good friend of mine called Ashley. She has got a YouTube channel and Instagram and TikTok called Faithful Rattos. That's got a bunch of good information. So if you want to go and follow my boy's journey for the rest of their life, go and follow. But also if you want to get your rat fix in terms of like educational content, then Ashley is now gonna be your person for that. So definitely go and check out her stuff. But yeah, my boys are off to their new home today and I feel incredibly weird about it. Um, I will probably cry later on when I get back to an empty rat cage because it just feels incredibly weird that I'm not going to have rats anymore even though it's the right choice and it's the right choice for me and for them. It's still a weird one to make because I'm used to losing rats, I got so used to it at this point and it's saying goodbye to them but not when they're still young and healthy. So yeah, it, it feels incredibly weird. The reason that I wanted to film this specific video is because I have shared my entire rat journey online right from the first rats I got. I started making YouTube videos and it's only fitting to carry that on right until the very end. Even though it's uncomfortable and weird that I'm having to do this, I think it's really, really important to show that rehoming is okay if it's in the animal's best interest or your best interest. It's not this big, scary, taboo thing that might stop people from doing it. And that might mean their rats end up neglected, alone, their needs not being met. This side of it is also so, so important alongside everything else I've also shared. I'm really procrastinating stopping filming this clip because when I do that, it means I'm about to get in the car and take them and travel to their new home. I have filmed a bunch of clips yesterday of me preparing them and preparing all of their stuff. So you will see that shortly, but yeah, I'm, I'm procrastinating stopping this because then it means that we're gonna go and this is probably the last time you're gonna see them in my house, which I'm trying really hard not to think about. It just feels really really strange I love you so before they go tomorrow I'm just gonna give them a quick mite treatment each just because I can I've got no concerns with them and I've not had any issues with mites since that big problem I had months and months ago but it won't hurt just to make sure they're not taking anything into their new home with them because it is such a pain to deal with so just gonna give them some because I can um, just so they're all ready and set to go to their new home. You don't have to do this, um, but just because of things I've had go on here in the past, I just wanna make sure they're not taking anything nasty with them. Stay still, stay still. Good boy, good job. 
I'm gonna miss your silly ears the most. Ready? Good job, Tiffin. Good boy. And I'm gonna miss your stumpy tail. I am. Good boy. So while the boys are drying, I've just been sending videos to Ashley of every single rat related thing that I've got because I'm not gonna have a use for it anymore. And she might as well have it whilst I'm taking the boys. I can try and take as much of their stuff that will fit in my smart cart as possible. So I've just sent her a bunch of videos just to see what she actually wants because we have pretty similar setups. She also has like naturalistic stuff in her, so she might as well make use of it and have that stuff too. So I've just been going through like everything. I made myself foraging toys. So yeah, just to see what she wants and then I'm gonna clean everything, try and get it dry before tomorrow, that might be a bit optimistic, and take all of their stuff with them just so other rats can enjoy it rather than me just trying to donate it or throwing some of it away. She might as well have whatever she wants, so that is the next step. It's even things like this, like my current boys have never wanted to play with this. But Aero did, and Crumble did, and they've pulled the feathers off it, and I'm like, I have to... I can't keep this, I got no reason to keep this. But I don't want to throw it away, because that's, like, attached to their memory, I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling with this. I'm just going down memory lane at this point, this was one of the first chew toys. I ever got my rats over eight years ago and I think it was from Pets at Home or something before I knew better about what kind of like textures and things rats actually enjoy chewing because I've still got this. Eight years later they've only had a tiny nibble because it's just not the kind of chew toy that rats really enjoy chewing on so yeah this is one of the first things I ever bought for my rats and I've still got it and I might keep it. Is that weird? I don't know but yeah, that's, that's not going with them because they're not going to use it or chew it, so I might end up keeping this. Good morning, Tiffin. Today's the day you and your brother go to your new home. I'm going to take you all the way to your new home and you're going to have so many new friends. Hey? Hi baby. Oh buddy. I've got so many treats left. <laughs> Good boy. You can have all the treats today. You can. Hi toasty boy. <laughs> Why are you sat like that? Why are you sat like that? Are you just chilling? 
Are you just chilling out? So then we were on our way and I managed to fit all of their things into my smart car which is honestly a miracle. All of their toys, accessories, their wooden castle and then we had about a two hour drive all the way to Ashley's house where we put them into a temporary cage just so they can settle in until she's got time to do intros. She has got a bunch of male rats that they are hopefully gonna be living with. So just whilst they settle in, they've gone into a temporary cage and then when intros are done, they're gonna have a big um, little Zuventura cage with a bioactive setup and it's just gonna be the best thing for them. So yeah, whilst I was there, we went out for some lunch and then she dragged me along to go and get some brambles for her stick insects. And then it was time to leave the boys with her. And I also got to meet all of her other rats. She's just got some adorable baby rats, which was just too cute to deal with. And she also has a bat detector that picks up all of the little giggles that rats make when you tickle them. So here's that. <laughs> but yeah I didn't stay there for too long I had about a two and a half hour drive home which was just the worst to be honest um not enjoyable at all the only thing that made it slightly better was this dog that was in front of me for a while that kept sticking its head out the window and looking at me. That did make me smile. So it has been a couple of days now. It was so nice to see Ashley again. And I need to take this cage down, clean it out, take it down ASAP because looking at it empty is just incredibly weird and kind of haunting to be honest so I'm gonna do that in a second but I believe as I'm filming this she is just about to do instructions with the boys and put them with her male rats so if I have any clips if she sends me any clips of that over the next couple of days I will insert them here hello Tiffin are you eating your dinner are you eating your salad hello Toasty Yeah, I just wanted to say a big thank you again to Ashley for taking the boys, giving them the best home possible and reassuring me during this entire process, keeping me sane whilst I've been making this decision and also a huge thank you to all of you guys, anyone that sent me a message over the past couple of days has just been amazing, I've had some lovely lovely messages on Instagram and comments on TikTok, just being so nice about the entire situation. Just thanking me for making all of my rat videos over the years and making a difference in your rat care and your rat's lives. Honestly, that is all I ever set out to do and just make sure rats all over the world were getting the best care they deserve. And I still can't believe the reach that I've got and the amount of people I have on this channel that love rats. It's just an insane, I still can't wrap my head around it. So. 
Thank you so, so much for supporting me and my videos about rats over the years and all of the rats I've had for loving them just as much as I have. Thank you, thank you, thank you for just making this the incredible experience that it has been. And this makes it sound like I'm going somewhere I'm not. I'm excited to kind of show you guys what I plan on doing next. And I've had a couple of messages and comments saying that you're excited to see what I do with the channel, even though I don't have rats anymore, which has been so, so reassuring. So yeah, I might still make the occasional rat video here and there. Um, I'm really excited. I'm trying to look to the future and I've got some really different plans of what to do in this pet room. I'm going to be reshuffling a couple of things just to make it work for the pets I have now. So yeah, moving onwards and upwards. I'm really, really happy that Tiffin and Toast are going to be thriving in their new home, but it's now time for me to make a couple of changes and be happy going forward. But yeah, thank you for watching this video and all of my other rap videos over the years. I will forever be in debt and just grateful for what rats have done for my life. All the way back to when I first started owning them, they gave me such companionship when I was at university and I missed having a pet. All the way, to be honest, to living in this house, giving me a career and a focus and it's something to do. They contributed in parts to me being able to buy this house and live in this house, which I will forever be grateful for that. But yeah, I could go on and on about all the things rats have done for me over the years. I've met some incredible people, they've gave me a career, they've given me such an incredible thing to love and focus on. And I could just go on and on and probably start crying again, to be honest, but I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm happy and at peace with my decision and I'm just super happy, most importantly, for Tiffin and Toast to have a new lease of life where they're gonna get so much more attention than I could give them. So I hope this video has been insightful and shown the side of rehoming that it's not this big, scary, terrible thing to do. If you are having to consider that, for whatever reason, if you're wanting to stop owning a social animal or your circumstances have changed, whatever the reason, just know that it is okay to make that decision if it is in the animal's best interest. So I hope this has been helpful in that regard, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video, hopefully. Bye. If this is my last ever time cleaning out a rat cage, I wonder how many times I've done a deep clean over the past eight years. If I've done that, once a month, it's probably over a hundred times. Give or take the fact that when I first started owning rats, I used to do weekly cleans, not like monthly deep cleans of all the bedding. So yeah, probably a lot. Although a hundred doesn't sound that many in the grand scheme of things. And I'm done. That is one very empty rat cage.